What do you do when you've got polygons that cover up other polygons in your map? How do you visualize them? I'm going to show you how to make some maps that visualize overlapping polygons when you've got just two overlapping polygons or when you've got a load of overlapping polygons. Let's do this. Here are two blue polygons. One, two, but they cover each other up and you'd never know what was going on underneath the arbitrarily topmost polygon. What can you do to visualize polygons that are stacked up on top of each other? Well, in this case, we have only two polygons and they happen to be of the same type, let's say, so they're the same color. Well, you can use a blend mode. In ArcGIS Pro, there's something called Feature Blend, which will apply a blend mode between the features within a layer, not just the layer to everything underneath it. So Feature Blend, I'll choose Multiply and it'll cook the two tones of blue and add them together to a darker blue in all the areas where it overlaps, which is helpful. Now, if you didn't want to use a blend mode, take that off, go back to normal. You could use transparency and the effect of two semi-transparent polygons on top of each other has like an additive opacity. So I'll set this to 80% transparent, which is 20% opaque. I'll hit apply. Now I can see where the two polygons exist and where they overlap. I'll duplicate this and do another method. What if you have two polygons of different categories? So for instance, instead of a single symbol, it was unique values. And one was yellow and the other category was blue. Now these are not arbitrary choices. I'm choosing these specifically because these two colors combine to make a third color recognizable to us pretty easily, which is green. And now, if I were to use a feature blend mode of multiply, it would create that intersection of yellow and blue and give me a green intersection area automatically. So I could see where each polygon existed and where the overlap existed because of this green combined color. Another technique of visualizing this overlapping area is to create a hatched pattern, half of it in yellow and half of it in blue. How do we do this? Well, first we have to break out the geoprocessing tools I'm going to run a union. And I'll take a look at the attribute table to see the polygon that is in fact the intersection of these. So this polygon is yellow, not overlapping. This polygon is blue, not overlapping. This polygon is blue overlapping. And this polygon is yellow overlapping. And they happen to be identical. And I'll just rename these so they have a unique value. Intersect. Intersect. And now if I open the symbology panel, I can make sure I have added all the values, which will reset them all. And set my non-overlapping colors to the blue and yellow colors as they were. And the overlapping polygons is where it gets interesting. Instead of a solid fill, I'll choose a hatched fill and I'll make this hatched line width very thick like 20 and the pattern I'll space it out by double that so 40 and the result is very thick candy cane stripes and I'm gonna set that to the yellow of that category and I do the exact same thing with the other intersect polygon hatched fill 20 point stroke 40 point spacing and the color will be blue. Now if I hit apply, there's a problem because blue is rendering underneath. What do I do? I'll just add an offset of 20 of the same thickness as my line width. And that has shifted it over so that there's no overlap. Now, now I have a yellow and blue sort of hatched fill going on for areas of overlap. And this can be kind of a nice effect. It can be a little hard to tell what's belongs to which polygon in these small areas but if you have large general areas this will work well for you but what if you don't want to deal with geoprocessing tools and creating new polygons and editing your polygons that's kind of dangerous i'll admit it so let's turn that off and i'll bring back our ununioned polygons this is two polygons that happen to be overlapping 
I'll turn off this blend mode. Now I'm going to use a marker pattern. So in the wrench, I can get rid of the solid fill and I'll add a symbol layer called marker layer. And I'll come back to the layers and I'll make this one yellow. And I'll give it a point size of four and a separation of, uh, let's say, 10 and 10, which looks like this. So a yellow dotted fill. And I'll do the exact same thing for the blue polygon, but in blue. And if I hit apply, I've got that same problem where the topmost layer is just covering up the pattern underneath. So I will offset it by half of its X and Y step. So in this case, five and five. So now the pattern of, is offset so that they don't overlap. And I can see the blue area and the blue areas of overlap and the yellow area and the yellow areas of overlap. And I got to do it all visually without using any geoprocessing and creating new data. But perhaps a more frequent phenomenon is when you have lots of polygons overlapping each other lots of times, like this layer of historic wildfires. For example, if I just click here, I can see that I've just clicked on 14 overlapping polygons of various sizes down here, and I can't even see them. What do we do about this? Well, some of the same, same tricks apply. If I'm opening up the symbology panel, I can set this to very semi-transparent. In this case, I'll, I'll choose 80% transparent, hit OK. And now I've got a decent shot at seeing where there's lots of overlapping wildfire activity and where there's actually sparse wildfire activity. And this can be a really effective and simple way to visualize lots of overlapping polygons. I'll just reset this to fully opaque red. And another way of doing this is by using the feature blending. So a feature blend mode of multiply will combine all of the tones of this and will get darker and darker in areas of highly overlapping phenomena. And while it's helpful visually to get a at a glance perspective of where there's a lot of overlapping polygons, you don't have a quantitative sense of how many things are happening right here versus right here versus right here. In order to do this, we'll need to aggregate so I'm gonna open up the geoprocessing tools once more, and this time I'll do a tessellation. I'm going to generate a tessellation of hexagons oriented the cool way, which is pointy sides up and down. This will cover, in my case, my display extent, but you might wanna cover the extent of your data, and I'll set the size to be one square kilometer each polygon. And now I have essentially cast a net over my data. And now it's time to count up how many incidences of these polygons occur within each of my new hexagonal polygons. And to do this, I'll do a spatial join. And I'll point it to my layer with lots of overlapping polygons. And I'm going to remove all the hexagons that don't have any polygon data underneath. That's optional, and we'll see what we get. I can turn off my original overlapping polygon layer and then open the symbology for this hexagon layer. Now we've created a hexagonal tessellation aggregating up all of the overlapping polygons underneath to give us a cumulative, to give us a cumulative, to give us a cumulative count of overlapping polygons that I can actually click on to see how many polygons it overlapped, which is pretty cool. Now this is a very useful visualization, but you can also optionally just use this as a labeling mechanism. So if I go into the labeling, make these quite small, and point it to my attribute that says how many polygons overlapped, it gives me a nice quantitative display of my data. And I can even open the symbology panel, go into the more tab, format all symbols, turn all of the symbology off essentially for this layer, retaining only the labels and turn on one of my previous visualization methods. You can combine these. So there you have, it. I think that was seven examples of ways to visualize polygons that happen to overlap each other. Some of the examples were for instances where you have just two polygons that overlap each other. And some of them were for when you have loads of polygons 
overlapping each other. Give someone a shot. Have fun. Have fun.